we want to evaluate the given def integral. The integrand function is graphed here in blue, and then we have the vertical lines x equals zero and x equals zero point four, which are the limits of integration. And since the integrand function is non-negative over this closed interval, the value of this def integral is equal to the area of the shaded region. To evaluate this, let's begin by factoring out the two. So we'd have two times the integral of one divided by the square root of one minus x squared, integrated with respect to x from zero to zero point four. Now from here, we need to be able to recognize that we'll be using this integration formula to find the antiderivative. Notice how this formula uses u instead of just x, just in case we have to perform u substitution. So notice that a squared is equal to one, and therefore a equals one, and u squared is equal to x squared, and therefore u equals x. Now we'll find differential u. Notice in this case, differential u equals differential x, which indicates no u substitution is required. If differential u did not equal differential x, we would have to perform u substitution. So now we can find the antiderivative. We'll have two times arc sine of u divided by a, that would just be x divided by one or x. So we'll have two times arc sine zero point four minus arc sine zero. Notice that zero point four and zero are sine function values and we're looking for the angles that have these sine function values. So having a sine function value of zero point four is not going to result in a nice reference angle, but we should recognize that arc sine zero would be zero since sine zero is zero. And now we'll go to the calculator. Let's first make sure we are in radian mode, so we'll press the mode key. Notice how we are in radian mode, so we'll go back to the home screen. And we have two times, for arc sine we'll enter inverse sine by pressing second sine. And then we have zero point four, close parenthesis, minus, we know arc sine is zero, but we'll go ahead and enter it anyway. So second sine zero, close parenthesis, close parenthesis, and enter. So the approximate value would be 0 0.8230. Which again is also the approximate area of the shaded region. I hope you found this helpful.